Hi everyone, welcome back. Week 11, Lecture 3. In this video, we are continuing to look into concept of globalization and its impact on environment. At the same time, in this video, uh, I want to share uh, three different categories of globalization. So, let us start. Economic globalization is the first one. It's basically the idea that all economies are interconnected. Well, in that particular case, economies of skills could be achieved for the organization by shifting the production to the countries that, that economies of skills can be achieved. Um, well, the main thing is that um, organizations need to shift from that concept of national businesses or nation, national organization to a global organization. Uh, it is pretty much a driving force of that economic globalization. On the other hand, political globalization is looking into the growing importance of the international organizations, organization, organizations such as OECD, World Bank, Greenpeace, uh, IMF, uh, just to, to, to us, just some of them. Um, it's important to mention that they are not a politically oriented, but they pretty much bring all these concepts that are important for continuum uh, economic growth of the of the of the globe and enhancing the economic integration among the nation. Uh, so they are having a global impact, but they are working in influencing um, economies and political forces that will be need to be changed in order to facilitate the continuous uh, aspect of globalization. The last one, it's cultural globalization, is where information, commodities and images uh, produces in one part enter the global flow that affects different cultures. Well, um, one probably most recognized sign is the sign of McDonald's. And we've seen that that sign is not only more applicable to um, American economy, uh, but it's actually spread around the globe. And it's the organization itself, it's a multinational global organization, as we call it. But we also have seen that the McDonald's has used various forms of uh, operation adaptation, product adaptation, service adaptation needed to operate in a global scale. But at the same time, We've seen through this particular concept of glo uh, cultural globalization that governments are putting various type of aspects uh, or policies into, into place in order to, in some way or another, protect or possibly protect um, local, local culture. That itself works against the concept of globalization, but nevertheless, a government in some instances are aiming to protect a national treasure such as a language, cultural norms and values in order to, uh, to, to protect a self-identity as, as per se. With that, guys, I'll leave you in, um, in peace. Take care. See you next video.